44 seconds of logos. Birds fly away to signify danger cliche. Also, chimps are terrible about knowing when humans are in their jungle. You only get one shot. One shot is all I need. You only get one shot, one shot is all I need cliche. Monkey decides to freak out and break loose at the exact same moment James Franco is pitching the sensitive money people on funding his monkey drug. We're ready to move on to the next phase, uh, human trials. Yep. Medicine companies definitely go from one successful monkey trial directly to human trials. This is totally legit. These guys should have way more training, expertise, and common sense than to do this shit. These are discount actual monkey scientists. Guards full-on murder the ape with people in the room. They don't have tranquilizers? Also, security guard shoots potentially dangerous monkey instead of sleeping. Or sleeping. Know everything about the human brain except the way it works. Oh, stuff it. He knows tons about how the human brain works. You're just looking for a lazy zinger. Oh, come on. They get a bunch of wild apes, conduct millions of tests, are there with them every day for hours and hours, and they didn't know Bright Eyes was pregnant. Also, this might be something that would be difficult to spin with investors, but seems like if you've got a drug that can make billions of dollars, admitting that you didn't know the ape was pregnant and that that was the reason she went crazy would turn it around in time. Certificate of Appreciation. Monkey conveniently bonds to human just as human is about to kill monkey. Right away, Caesar displayed- Whoa, whoa, whoa there. He's just gonna start narrating like we haven't sat through 14 minutes of movie already? Also, three years later? He kept a monkey hidden in a residential neighborhood for three f***ing years? And no one ever looks at their neighbor's windows. Ever. And plays chess pretty well. Will carries around a chess piece so that he can reflect dramatically on this point while recording his notes. Scientist running out of time and patience with his father's disease tests his theories on his own flesh and blood. Stealing is only wrong when you're not motivated by Alzheimer's. So wait, the lab isn't getting funding to produce this drug anymore because of the Bright Eyes incident, but still produce large quantities of it anyway? He steals these vials, but the lab never does inventory or anything because no one ever notices they're missing. Hey, didn't the nurse quit after the last outburst? Who was watching Daddy Rodman all day while his son was at work stealing medicine? The chimp? Open window causes no concern for Will, even though there's a wandering chimp in the house. Also, no surprise, open window allows Caesar to escape during crucial part of the plot. Also, Monkey only notices open escape window after ignoring it all night long. Guess it wasn't time to escape yet. Caesar! He can't have gone far. How the f*** do you know he can't have gone far, Piano Man? It won't happen again. Damn right it won't. Carbon copy asshole neighbor is carbon copy. Also, sweatbands. He likes you. Frida Pinto is not my girlfriend, wife, and mistress in this- Oh, just match my online dating profile to her already. Andy Serkis isn't winning an Oscar in this scene. Brilliant scientist drives a Woody. That's not a sin, I just wanted to say the word Woody. <laughs> so, for five years, Will's been taking Caesar to the Redwoods, and this is the first time there's been an incident? Or anyone who has ever noticed a freaking chimp being taken into the Redwoods? Caesar, this is where I work. No one here will see you. A monkey. In this car in the parking lot. Because scientists are unobservant. Haha, ha, original Planet of the Apes reference. Mustang owners are always leaving their car doors open with the keys in the ignition. It's a very common problem. <laughs> this honking driver is oblivious to the absolutely amazing, terrifying scene directly in front of him. It's animal control, not a f***ing ambulance, right? Animal control transports dangerous monkey in van with no restraints whatsoever. Is it bad that I knew the evil animal shelter guy was going to be Brian Cox before I even knew he was in this movie? Thank goodness San Francisco has a close-by monkey sanctuary handy. Otherwise, this movie would have been a lot of driving. Monkey Truman Show. You know, I don't see a ring on that finger. Five years dating Frida Pinto and you haven't married her? Hell, it'd be a sin if it was five months. Hey, Tom, you know that character Malfoy you play in the Harry Potter series? Just do that. That's racist. Now you hardly ever show. So, is there a reason why the business-minded Jacobs has kept him on the payroll? Especially after the disaster in the beginning of the film? Hell, they nearly fired him on the spot then. The 112 is dangerous, Will, and it doesn't work. Also, did he not ever tell his boss about how the evil drug chimp was actually just protecting its baby? Did he not ever start work on 113 or any other new drug? I'm trying to figure out how he's not fired after the 112 was scrapped and he was told to start over, but never did, and that was f years ago. I treated my father with it. It does work. Brilliant scientist isn't fired immediately when his boss finds out he stole a three-year-old drug and gave it to his father. I'll give you whatever you need. Medical boss just believes his scientist when he says his dad was cured with stolen drugs and orders new testing, without actually verifying that the drug actually works by looking at any data. Because big money decisions are always made that way. Aerosol delivery in place. They used to give the monkeys the 112 by injecting them. But with the 113, they have this fancy green goblin aerosol delivery chamber system, which is only so they can infect the snarky lab assistant guy and have a cool everything goes wrong moment. Um, that is a fucking sweatshirt. He just ripped off Caesar's body clean like he was doing the tablecloth trick. Not possible. <laughs> what that ape said is racist. Draco Ex Machina. Guy who sneezes blood tells no one and doesn't go to the doctor so that he can die later in the story. Wait, they went and grabbed his ripped sweatshirt from the main ape yard and returned it to his cell? Why? Hey girls, let's go pound some beers at the animal shelter. 
Doesn't that sound like a place where everyone has fun and gets laid? Name's Cornelia. Ha ha, original Planet of the Apes reference. I'm rooting for Caesar, but there's pretty much no way he could have taken this knife. Also, how did he figure out what looked like a regular bottle opener also served as a pocket knife? Oh, now you're gonna seek help about your medical problem. Jeez, is this asshole always around? Who the hell are you? <laughs> Also, convenient asshole comeuppance cliché. Will gives up way too quickly after being rejected by Caesar. I mean, we know Caesar has moved on, but Will doesn't. Caesar wins over all the apes with a bag of Chips Ahoy. We interrupt this Planet of the Apes reboot to bring you the beginning of 2001. How did this asshole get in the house without breaking something? Or are they still leaving windows and doors open in this house? Thank God Will kept all that 113 aerosol in his fridge after his dad died. Jumping on a Mustang makes the grill fall off because Ford. How did Caesar get back into the animal shelter without being seen? Remember, he had to go out through the glass dome thing, and he slid down to the ground. That's way too high and slick to climb back up, even for him. Sure, I guess he could have walked through the front door. It's not like the Landons are incredible at their job or anything. How the f*** did Caesar know that this would work? Sh a human being in his position looking at strange cans in the fridge wouldn't know for sure that jamming a knife in the cans would create a slow enough release that rolling the canisters down the hall would infect all the apes. Dude sees apes totally conspiring, but so the movie can continue, shrugs it off. I guess after Franklin couldn't get in contact with Will that one time, he totally gave up forever and never used a phone or email or anything explaining his condition. Haha, -ha, Charlton Heston. Take your stinking bar off me, you damn dirty ape! Or filthy mudblood, am I right? No! Okay, that shit is f***ing awesome. I'm taking a sin off for that right there. Also, Caesar's gonna count to five, and then he's gonna start beating the shit out of you over a f***ing billfold. Caesar does what Harry Potter took eight movies to not do. Apes escape detention facility and procreate to triple their numbers in roughly two hours. Apes moving through the trees remove roughly 90% of all the leaves. I know where he's headed. I know where he's headed, cliche. This place has f***ing infrared security cameras. Are you kidding me? Also, Scotch tape dispenser fits in perfectly with high-tech security workstation. Sunglasses indoors. Are you seriously trying to tell me that Caesar stopped on his way to Genesis to draw graffiti? Wait, he was just walking from the underground employee parking lot and now he's in the lobby like he just walked in the front door cool shot but what was the plan hey guys after we destroy the building let's form a multi-tiered stare down offensive what if Jacobs had gone on vacation what if Jacobs had gotten a phone call not to come in how long were they willing to wait also what was the point of that hey Jacobs you're an asshole okay everybody now let's get the f out of here and not one of these apes chased after Jacobs or ran out the same exit he did so we see the animal control vehicle in the background here but in the next shot the officer is already shooting a net at this lone ape in the middle of the street and all the freed apes in San Francisco decided to hang back and save this one ape look I know they're smart and all but they're just wildly running through the streets how do they even begin to know there's one lost chimp about to get captured by animal control also it doesn't seem like killing is exactly their style they didn't kill Jacobs, even though they had a huge chance to do so. But here they keep throwing spears at this dude, hoping he dies a grisly death, I suppose. Manhole cover only goes halfway through Wimpy Car Windshield, when really both these cops ought to be dead. Traffic on the Golden Gate Bridge is conveniently stopped already, so that there can be hundreds of people in harm's way when the apes come through. They're on the bridge. How the hell can you know that from here? No problem, we're ready for them. If you knew they were going to the bridge, why didn't you chase them down while they were kicking it on a trolley? Why didn't you have a roadblock set up on the south side before they even got there? How the hell did these assholes get on the bridge? No! This attempted murder is somehow different from all the other potential murders they could have committed during the escape. Why didn't all the simians take this route? It's the safest spot on the whole bridge. Caesar's pretty damn smart, but I think he missed a golden opportunity to use this bridge the right way. Fog rolls in at just the right time to make it hard for the cops to see the apes. Okay, great. So they fooled the cops and totally got the drop on this roadblock, but there's absolutely no reason why they need to engage them in any way. They could have sneaked past them in the fog and not even risk getting shot. In fact, since they have a rule about not killing anymore, this attack seems pointless. Oh, okay. I guess this murder is fine then. Is this f***er King Kong or something? Bad guy somehow survives fiery helicopter crash because it's not cathartic enough for him to die unless the angry drug 113 test tape is the one doing it. <laughs> My mother always said, if you can't say something nice while dying, you shouldn't say anything while dying at all. A bunch of smart apes that just destroyed San Francisco are now taking residence in the Redwoods. I'm pretty sure that's the cue for the U.S. government to start bombing Redwood National Park. Take that, nature. Maybe they should have called this Rise of the Twelve Monkeys. Ape Island! I wish we were going to Candy Apple Island. Ever since CinemaSins began, the most requested thing has been TV Sins. And now it's a reality. <gasps> Click the link in the description below to check it out. And now, the audio outtakes.
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you a very strange story. The story of our adventure in pursuit of a savage beast. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I give you Kong! He's fine now! He's fine now! He's fine! What were the side effects? Violence, aggression, and insanity. We need to take the whole line back to formula. Back to formula. Avada Kedavra! No! It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. We shall be your friend. There is another.